two pillows here so I can be on the same height as you. Do you even Are we the show? same height? You're kind of taller. Should I remove one pillow? Uh oh. Yeah, that's better. No. Hey guys, salam alaikum and welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, my husband is joining me for this video. Salam alaikum, everybody. As you can tell from the title of this video, we'll be speaking about how do we make our marriage work. We actually just celebrated our five year anniversary um, as a married couple, mm -hmm. but we have known each other way longer than five so. years. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give them a little backstory for the people who are probably new to our channel? Yeah, yeah. so pretty much this is how it started, you know. Uh, we were in college, we were just like students, I think first year of college. And uh, our circle of friends, we kind of had mutual friends. And Omaya and I became friends in school. And that's kind of how we first we met, met each other. When we were 18. We were 18 years old, yeah. Yes. First year of college. Yep. I wanted to add to that. I don't look at Omaya as my wife. Like, I just, I look at her as more than that. Uh, best friend, companion, uh, person that I'm trying to grow with. So, you know, when you kind of put a title on, okay, that's just my wife. Sometimes, like, we're programmed, like, back in the day. Oh, that's your wife. But the fun stuff you do with your boys and all that, it's, it's or with not. Your girlfriends. Or, or whatever the case may be, right? <laughs> but it's not really like that. I feel like that's why, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah our uh, relationship has been strong because we're like best friends first. Why are you sweating? <laughs> it's hot as hell in here and she has these lights beaming on my forehead. So with that being said, we're going to share some of the tips that make our marriage work. What I would say is to date and date often. For us, it's easy because we don't have jobs where it's very time consuming. We also don't have children and yeah. we know that a lot of times when you have children that can distract you or you just don't put too much effort into your marriage because you're so into your child, into your children, into okay. their needs. So in that case, what I recommend is to date and have at least one time out of the week where you're like, you know what, on Fridays, we'll just make Fridays date night. We'll hang out as a family, but then at night, uh, we should have a date night so we can rekindle the love or just okay. talk and I mean whatever together. it is that you guys like if you both have a common interest in an activity then do that together also give compliments to one another like yeah. we used to that's something that can fade uh, throughout the marriage like yeah. in the beginning you're just like ooh, you're, you're yeah. looking so handsome and I yeah. like what you're wearing mm -hmm. and then later on you're just like all right you oh look, you look good you look okay, all right yeah. and then sometimes you don't say anything at all that's so like what you so complimenting yeah and pretty much what you just said uh is one aspect of love like love is so huge it's so broad and, and I feel like ultimately I feel like just understanding your significant other right so yeah knowing what they love it could be from the little things the little things go a long way so if your wife just likes this certain little thing from a store and you surprise her with it little things like that just keep things going oh he's thinking about me he's busy at work but he's bringing me something like just little Wait, things like how about like like a morning text he always wakes up earlier than me and when I like when I look at my phone there's no hey babe good morning yeah. hey babe I miss you and it's just the most amazing message to wake up to that's a cute way also of keeping the love alive yeah little just things. little things go a long way like you said yeah. um I feel like this happens maybe like four or five times a day <laughs> um that's just a part of life when you don't see eye to eye um, usually it's whoever brings the best case to the table. I mean, yeah, if we don't agree on one specific thing, she's making more sense than I am, then we'll go with whatever she's trying to do. If I make more sense than her, then we go with what I'm trying to do. But ultimately we discuss it. We have a discussion about what it is and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, hanging out with friends shouldn't be something that you give up just because you're married. Of course, yeah. Um, no, no, we all know a person that after they got married, yeah. they disappeared. That's what I'm saying! I don't think it should ever be like that. It's so 
so annoying. Like, why do people do that? They it's, turn into a ghost. It almost makes me feel like, okay, were we not friends then? What? Am I not like entertaining enough for you? Because now you're married and you're off to your new adventure, so you forgot all about me. Good thing for us, honestly, is like our friends are like, well, like we pretty much have the same friends. Because we went to college together, so yeah. we pretty much had the same group of friends. But at the same time, there's a lot of, uh, of my boys that I grew up with whenever we're all free we make some time to see each other yeah. because i feel like regardless if you're married or not you shouldn't let those relationships go you always got to check in on your people and you know just have some time for yourself even if it's like time for yourself that you just want to sit in a quiet place read a book yeah i don't do that really but <laughs> if it's good for you yeah but you if go you ahead like and do that, it it's, it's your me time you know yeah. what i'm saying so. me time is very very necessary I get along with my in-laws, like they're fun, they're cool, respectful, they've always been helpful since before we were married, when we were engaged. Um, they're, they're my family, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, to, alhamdulillah, we, we get along. To know Muhammad is to know that Muhammad can get along with uh, anyone and know. anything. So, it obviously was not hard for him to get along with my parents, with my siblings, um, my family he's just funny and loving and caring so it was really easy for him to get along with my family mm -hmm. um, as well as for me it was so yeah. easy your family is just so amazing yeah alhamdulillah and you know something too what i love about both of our like parents mm -hmm. so in-laws in general um none of them are judgmental like in anything yeah. in general and i feel like generally when you're around that type of uh, atmosphere and you know mindset makes everything very easy yeah you know what I'm saying? advice for for those who are having like a hard time with their in-laws because yeah. i've never been in that situation but what i think is best is to always have a good communication with yeah. your spouse I agree. because when you and your spouse are on the same like the same level and you guys get each other then no one will break that marriage you're you're each other's backbone yeah uh, we feel like religion is key and it's number one priority so we we're not perfect I can speak for myself I'm not perfect I have a lot of work to do Neither but, am I. <laughs> but at the same time we push each other I think it's very important to encourage one another yes. and not be judgmental as to like why did you miss a prayer yeah why did you record on today yeah. oh you have better things to do so how about we talk to each other yeah. and be like babe you know I know today you had a hard day today you might have missed a couple prayers but Let's make sure tomorrow's not like that. Yeah. And when you talk to that person in a kind way, you're motivating them to be like, yeah, I can do this. We're touching on prayer just because, you know, in, 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 <laughs> in Islam, we pray okay. five times a day and uh, different times throughout the day. But ultimately, like, I also feel like but it's not only prayers. It's, it's, it's mentality, it's energy, it's talking to, to people, respecting people and, and all that. That's, that's all as a, as a whole. Yeah. Who handles the money? Yeah. Bro, we, we both do. We both work. We both have an account together. We both pay bills. You are affectionate, yeah. but I, I am way more. Like, yeah. I am so huggy, lovey. I hug him all the time. I like to grab on him. Like, I'm very, very affectionate. Yeah. But not only with you, in general, I'm very affectionate. Like, <laughs> I think it's because of my mom. Oh, yeah. She, well, you're Spanish. And I'm Spanish, yeah. Y'all, like, hug to you and your mom. <laughs> bro, let me, tell, <laughs> let me tell you a quick funny story about her whole family, right? Oh, bless them. Like, they, they show love to each other, like, amazingly. <laughs> but when I first, like, started, you know, we're engaged, so I'm there. Um... They kind of greet each other when they wake up. When Amaya goes upstairs to <laughs> brush her teeth, when she comes downstairs to get breakfast, when she's leaving to get the mail, and then when she's leaving to go get Starbucks, <laughs> and then go to sleep. Again, <laughs> go to school, go to work. I, I don't just stay at home. sort of transaction that's happening <laughs> of you leaving a living room to the kitchen, to the bathroom. Like I was looking at her, I'm like, where y'all going? <laughs> Why are you saying hi and goodbye so many times? Again, the way I was brought up, bro. Like, yeah, we barely, like, you know, like, hug. Again, we did, but, like, big thing. Yo, you graduated, good stuff. <laughs> like, we still loved each other. We showed affection, but not too much. Yo. We're just very affectionate. 
affectionate. It could be the Spanish. That's side. amazing, though. Don't yeah. get me wrong. That's a loving thing. That's yeah. that's that's uh, uh, great to show kids since they're little and grow up into it. Well, I, I, mean, I love did it. Did you grow it's up with your parents kissing in front of you? No. Never. You never no. seen your parents kiss? Oh, not that I can recall. I don't remember. What about hug? I don't really think like no hug of course. Yeah. So they hug each other. Of course. Yeah. Hug. Okay. But I mean, I'm not gonna like like sing to each remember. other. What what is this American Idol? Like, <laughs> it's not the voice. Hey, Saeed, can you sing for me a song? Bro, man. My dad would ask my mom no. all the time to like, Hey, Sudema, sing this song. Like, yeah, he loves my mother's voice. He had fun and stuff, yeah. but... I, I yeah. guess I just grew up with my parents being super affectionate. Like, hugs and But kisses. is that a Spanish thing or an auto thing? Or kids like kids thing? I don't know if it's an auto thing. I guess it depends where you're from. The Palestinian side of my family. <laughs> They don't Definitely seem like does not like in front of their children. Yeah. They don't really hug. Well, that's what I'm Even saying. among siblings, they're just very like Get out my dry. Face. <laughs> Has it changed? It just made us get closer together, made us grow with each other. There's been a really nice um, balance in our marriage. Whereas in the beginning, it was so rocky. And not in a bad way. We didn't have like a turbulent marriage. But you know, when you're like, single and then you go into marriage you're like oh what is this oh my god he's he's so messy or oh my gosh she argues too much and then now we yeah. have transitioned into each other you understand and now we other. understand one another and now we're just you pick your own fights you don't fight about everything you just fight about the stuff that really matters to you you know in the mm -hmm. beginning it was just like so you're Woo! a smarter you're a smarter fighter so right? yeah so now you know when you choose your battles, you know. Yep, so um, that has that's how Mary has changed. Where in yeah. the beginning it was so amateur, we would just like want to show our personalities, and now it's just like easy. Yeah, it's easier. We understand one another, and if he's having a bad day, I know how to handle it. Yeah. If I'm having a bad day, he knows how to handle it. It's just gotten a lot easier. Yes, and, and just to quickly mention, so we were engaged for four years before <laughs> getting married. So what I'm trying to say by that is during the years of our engagement, those were years that we were getting to know each other as well. So when we got married, we still knew, okay, this is like what's good about you. This is what, you know, you got to work on from both of our sides. So um, a longer engagement helped us as well because we start, we knew each other yeah. a lot more. Yeah, it helped a lot, but babe, we didn't sleep together. Like we weren't in each other's yeah. faces 24 seven. I mean, that's a- So you can close. have, I, I always suggest to have a long engagement. It's so crucial because- You get to know a lot oh, of things. Oh, do you get to know a lot of things? Yeah. It's just preparing you. It's like marinating yes. you for marriage. Oh, and your first year is always going to be a little bit harder because you're just getting to know the rhythm of things of your partner. I feel like within time, if you have great communication, within time, your marriage mm -hmm. should only get better and better and better. Exactly. And so pretty much what Amai just says concludes our video. And what I can tell you is just don't get married. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm like, I'm messing oh around. God. Marriage is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Do it when you're ready, not when your mom's ready, not when your dad's ready, when you're ready. And don't get discouraged if you're like 25, um, 30, 35, and you're like, oh, I'm still not married. It doesn't matter. It's your book, so it's what? your story. That's it. it. You don't need to make other people happy. You need to make yourself happy. And then what you believe in is in your faith, like Allah and God, and just go with your heart. So yes, that's all I can say. Yes, Mo, I like that, baby. Mo, twenty twenty. Amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, we gave you some good advice for your marriage, for your relationship. Yeah. Um, if you have any other questions that you felt like we didn't touch on, mm -hmm. um, leave them below, and we will read them and make sure to do a part two yeah. to this video if you guys are interested. Exactly. In. Um, thank you, you guys. My mind. <laughs> So much for watching and thank you for your love and support please do not forget to check us out on instagram we post a lot of stuff on instagram especially yeah. instagram stories so if you want to see what we're up to day to day make sure you check our instagram's account we're down here and love you guys see yeah. you next week Salam, everybody bye peace